<laughs> See, now I got you all guys' attention. Okay, that's good. Thank you. All right. Most people, when they cut vegetables or meat, they pull. Right? They pull. They pull the blade. They pull the blade. There's nothing that says you can't push a blade. Right? Okay. People don't understand that deliver a one slowly. That if I place this here, I place it, and he feels it, what's he going to do? He's going to pull. And because of my force is still going in, he pulls, he cuts himself. You don't have to emphasize this. That's for TV. Okay? So all you have to do is place it. Remember, here, he pulls, boom, he's cut. Okay? What did I cut? I cut his tendon. Okay? So what we're going to do is what we call single taros, kadaan, and old style. Stand there. Gonna do it. I'll just relax. One. Two, three, four, five. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, so he comes in with one. I'm gonna cut him here. I'm gonna parry here, and I'm gonna hit him here. He's gonna come with two here and hit him here. You notice my blade is in front of my hand. When you do it the other way, you end up cutting your own arm. Okay, three, I'm gonna step out, push down, and cut him here. He's gonna come back way the other way. I'm gonna pivot, raise up my heels, Face the other way, catch it here. On the last five, I'm just going to drop my right foot back and come here. So the amount of footwork is very, very minimal. This side. So we're going against his weapon. So he comes here, here. Me two, here. Three, here. Four, here. Five, here. Work. So when she comes with the, <laughs> she comes with a one here. What I want to do is I want to parry this, right? And I want to parry. It. See how I leave my arm out too long? She can do a wrist roll and cut me a little back. There, I'm done. So what we want to do is we want to slap it and then throw it into this blade. Okay? That way your hand's not out there. It's like a jab. So from here, there. Nice watch. Anyway, two. Here, we're gonna slap it up and take this here. Three, I'm gonna go here, momentarily, throw it into this blade. Other side, stop, throw it into the blade. Here, there. Okay? Don't leave this out too long. One wrist roll, your history. Yeah. Work. Kiss me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're my feet, sir. Everybody wants this trophy. They want to stab. Relax. When I tell you to move, I'll okay. move. Unless I want you to move, I'll make you move. Yes, sir. Right. Here. You all want this trophy, right? So how do we get there? The problem with getting to this trophy is the, the distance in between is wasted. So basically, we were talking about economy or not wasting motion as well as your blade. So remember I told you you can push a blade? Huh? Push your blade? On the side. On the side. That's best with you. <laughs> so if he throws a one, I go on the inside now. I'm not worried about his left hand. So I'm going to push. Cut his tendon. Continue pushing. Turn the blade. Continue to push his karate. As I'm in the motion to go here, I push out. Take the other artery. Okay? Three. Go here. One. Push. Here, here, here. Inside. Here, push. Here, cut the tendon, cut the karate, cut the break in. Okay, so now he goes two. Here. Okay? I'm going to cut his tendon again, push down, cut the other one here, and take this one here. Okay? So if I'm not ready for this one here, then I see the two, and I can go here. Only when I'm ready. Only when I see availability. Let's do one and two real quick. Again, one more time. Stop, push, push, pull. But remember, when you're pushing the throat, you're slowly pushing out to, again, placement. Here, you can cut that out there. Backside two, here, cut the tendon on top. Don't cut your hand. There, shoot it up to the throat, cut the throat out, boom, it's up there. Okay, work. <laughs> okay, so 
You smile, you smile. It's got blood on it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think I'm like, it's so pretty. <laughs> now you got a long way. Okay. So he comes here. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to push. Push, push. What's the difference? Figure it out. Get on the other side here. I could do a sweep block here. Bang, bang, boom, boom. Okay. It's the same thing. Okay. Sure? Make the tool. As soon as you pick up this thing, you have to be one with this in a split second. It has to be a part of your body. You can't be fumbling around trying to find a perfect grip and a perfect amp. You just have to deal with it. Okay? You have no time in a confrontation. Okay? Uh, here, stay there. Move. <laughs> All right. This is a replica of my dad's sword. Okay, he used in World War II. My dad was five foot two if he was lucky. So that means the weapon was way up here. So how in the hell is he gonna get a full draw when a katana's coming in, right? There's no way he's gonna make it happen. So the Japanese thinks, oh, he's got the advantage. John up. So he comes down with the katana. My dad's here, backhand two. Boom, he's done. Because the blade comes out the side. Wow. That's how he stayed alive. So it comes out here. Wow. Okay. This is a replica of what my dad used in World War II. Guess what? You cannot make another one of these. The guy that makes my blade, he's not allowed to. Mm. Or I'll throw some shit on the internet about him. <laughs> <laughs> this is my signature blade, guys. Okay. So, back at number. We're gonna close this out with, uh, now you got a dagger, okay. <laughs> Get rid of the stick. This is my instructor. <laughs> he teaches me. Okay, now I have no dagger, he got a dagger. What the hell are we gonna do now? One, here, capture, slowly, capture here, here. We push this, turn and push this, 10 o'clock here. See how it opens the neck? And then we cut him here, okay, side. Here, one, outside, push 10, open the neck, cut him here. Okay, two, he comes back, boom, capture here, raise him up to the heavens, boom, he's jacking in there, drop him here, boom, in there. Okay? Okay, so I missed the one, slowly. Two, change feet here, move graceful now. Huh? Here, turn here, go underneath the back of the hand, push straight up. Okay. Now if you decide, this elbow decides to go the other way, you transfer here. Here. Push this down there. There. Now you got him locked in, you walk him out. The beauty about this technique is when the cop shows up, the police show up, and he's all cut up on the floor, your DNA is not on his weapon. Yeah. He committed suicide. <laughs> we good with that? Yeah. Or, Excellent. All right. Any questions? We're gonna capture here, outside. Here, we're gonna grab this pad here. We're gonna reach over and grab it, as well as the back of his thumb. Here, here, here. Ten o'clock. If you go here, you spin him. He's gonna throw the left. Okay. So you're begging for it. So from here, here. Then you cut him here. Okay. Side. You throw one here, 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 and you cut him here. Okay, you missed the one, come one, here, two, go get it, because it's a back end, it's strong. You have to stop it before it's extended. Here, roll the wrist, push it straight up here. Get any problems with his elbow? Yeah. You will be. <laughs> pop him here, pop him here. Pop the wrist here, it's gonna drive it, boom. Pop this here, here, pop the wrist again. Pull back, transfer, here, push it in the back. Pop his elbow down. Block him. Yeah. Stop looking at his ass. <laughs> <laughs> good? Work, okay? And you happen to lose. Remember one thing. I did not teach you. <laughs> okay? True. All right, we're all martial artists here. Okay, on the serious side. Our job, eliminate the threat. The vehicle drives the threat. 
always snapshotting, looking for availability of targets, vital targets. That's our job. Okay? The day you stop looking at targets and you're looking at your opponent's eyes, if you're not a martial artist anymore, guess what? You're a killer. Weigh the scales. You've got to live with the repercussions. We're good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.